All right, welcome back to Northern Tesla with another FSD video. We are still doing version 14.2.1. There's been no updates since. However, this is a very polished version. However, there's one little area that needs improvement and we're gonna work on that area. So first off, I just wanna say that I've been driven well over a thousand kilometers on FSD. Now, my American friends, that's not so much a thousand miles, but it's almost there. Uh, it's a thousand kilometers. So if we go to our autopilot stats, I'm sitting at 99%. Leave it on Tesla to basically gamify driving on FSD. I will do everything in my power not to have to drive this car to be able to maintain that stat. And the only, the only reason I'm not at 100% is because I had a few strikes and, you know, usually when you get a strike, you just drive until you can pull over and you, know, you just finish your destination and then you put it back on. And I'm, I was on the highway and I was like, I was driving, I was just going to, you know, once I got off the highway, I was going to, you know, park and put it back in FSD. And then I realized, oh my God, my stats, my stats. So I pulled over on the side of the highway and then uh, re-engaged FSD. So leave it on Tesla to basically gamify stats because we all want 100%. And I think I can get back to 100% because if you notice with the stats, I'm not at 99% right now. I'm at like 98.5 something, but Tesla rounds up. So as long as you get to like right now, like a 98.5 um, shows up at 99. So basically I've driven like 15, 14 kilometers by myself. And if I maintain this for another 1,000 kilometers, I will get back to 100%. So that's my goal. So stay with me for that. Um, so going back to what I was saying, FSD does have one, and it's not a problem. It does it perfectly, but it's the parking. And these 14 kilometers, other than that, the one, the few strikes that I had to drive manually, uh, is basically parking issues, where especially at home or certain locations where it doesn't go where I need it to go, or it gets confused in the parking lot and I have to take over. So we are gonna really put it through the spaces today in terms of parking lots. Uh, we're gonna go to a uh, strip mall basically and make put it through its paces and really see what it can do. Cause like, I find it gets confused in parking lots a lot. Uh, and especially with the navigation update, I know if a lot of people in my last video, I mentioned it doesn't really go to where it's supposed to go anymore. And a few people have commented, they're seeing the same thing. So there's obviously an issue with the navigation so we're going to put it through its paces, go through the mall, or not to the mall, but we're just going to the grocery store over here on your left. And uh, we're going to see what it can do, see how it gets out of the spots. So, because regular day-to-day -day driving, like, you know, you just saw, we've just been driving for five minutes, and there's really no issue. I'm not paying attention. I'm not, like, I'm not looking for errors. Um, unfortunately, with FSD videos, you kind of want some edge cases, and they're, you know, you got to find them. So... We're going to go back to the map. Now you can see here where we're looking at. So I didn't put it in the grocery store. I put in, I just uh, dropped the pin to make it go to the back of the parking lot. And that's how I find I've been noticing. I've been getting to like where I need to go. If you pin a location, you can figure out, you can make the car go to where you want to go. With an update coming up with the holiday update, They've changed the, you can pin drop home, but like you can already, you can almost do that right now. So I'm curious to see what the holiday update is going to change, if it's going to make it easier or different. Uh, so I don't want to do a full video until that happens, because uh, I don't have the holiday update yet. So once I get the holiday update and I notice what the pin, th pin drop situation is, I'll be able to do a proper video just to show you guys how to exactly do it. But it's basically, you, you drop a pin and it'll take you where you want to go. So had I just selected the grocery store, it would have took me, it would have basically gone to the store itself, uh, probably gone to the front door and took the immediate, the first lane and then find, found a parking spot. So let's see if it goes all the way to the back where I said to go. So we're doing pretty good here. So what are we doing here? Okay, so we got a pretty uh, cart 
guy walking around. So we're going to park right here. Not bad. So I don't know if you just saw, but we are a bit all over the line. We're going to go back to cameras up here just so you can see. So this is the front camera. Uh, you can't see it. See it right here. We're over the line. So we're just over the line. So I find with, especially when the car parks forward, it, this is straight. So I'm happy about that because usually it's not straight, but it is, you know, should have backed up. But anyways, so let's go on to our next destination. So we're going to make it go just over here. This is a confusing parking lot. So we're going to go to this here, spa. So we're going to reverse. Even though we can go forward, it's going to go reverse. You know, there's some carts back there. So as you can see from here, so there's a curb here. So we're going to go around and we have, to, we have to make another left to get back to the main entrance. So let's see if we can do that. So this is why I'm trying to make it go to like the back of lots to really find its way. We're going to go to the Home Depot next after this one, because that is a confusing parking lot. And let's hope I can take, I can keep my FSD streak intact because I don't want to have to take it over manually. So I'm going to put it through its paces and let's hope it can really, so I don't have to take over because I don't want to, I don't want to further hinder my staff. So basically we're going to go across the street into the staples. So I wonder if it's going to dart right out. So we're good on both sides. Yeah, so well done on that. So we're going straight ahead to the hot tub spot right up ahead. So lots of traffic here, obviously some Christmas shopping going on. We got a tow truck coming in backwards, not a tow truck, but a salter coming in backwards. So cars recognizing that. Now the car generally will be able to figure its way to the location. It's getting out. And that's why I'm choosing this kind of like really weird layout parking lots to see if it'll figure out how to get out of these spots. So interesting going to the left or sorry, the right. I don't know my directions right now. So the other issue here is we got some snow banks. So generally this would be, this would be the way. Okay, so it's going to turn. Good, good, good. So it is going to turn into, yeah, good car, good car. Like, you know, it could obviously go straight through the lots. But obviously these snowbanks are really giving it a uh, good, good, good. Okay. This is great, actually. Like, you can't really complain with that, especially uh, given, you know, if I was expecting it to go to the first two spots right up at the store they're handicapped and probably i don't know, probably wouldn't i don't know how it would do if it knows by visual or mapping data but anyways uh it wouldn't be able to park there anyways so here we are relatively good parking job uh we are a, just like i'm not gonna most people would go a little it's a little crooked we're a little off on the compared to the cars on the right but we're at a good distance from the car in front so uh, can't complain. So let's go to the Home Depot, as I was saying. All right, so off we go to the Home Depot. So backing we go. So like, that was some good parking lot navigation, considering there's snow piles and it couldn't figure out. So from here... We have a couple options. Like the easiest way to get out of this would be go right over there. That's the exit. Uh, so we have a Honda letting me through. So we could just go right there. That would be the easiest part. 
but it's coming this way. It's gonna go, it's gonna go through the parking lot. Which is fine. It's we're going we're go, it's gonna take us the same spot, but uh, obviously much easier to go that way. So as you see, this is a really busy area. We have the dollar store, people coming in shopping. It is really busy out here. So off we go. So basically we're gonna go back through the parking lot and then go back to the staples and then make a right. And it's not so much getting to the Home Depot, it's the getting out. Cause I've gone, the car's gone lost many times in that parking lot. Cause it is a weird parking lot. There's a Costco on the other one side and then they added a Chipotle and a Starbucks just randomly in the parking lot. So you got that to deal with. So we're making it right up here. I find notice now I'm noticing with the heated steering wheel. The only time I'm using my hidden steering wheel is to warm up my hands. Because I haven't touched a wheel in since 14.2 uh, came out. Which is insanity. Okay, so making a left turn here. It is an all way. You know people are just going about their business like it's, you know, whatever. Uh, so we're making a left turn. And you're going to turn right into here. So we are in the Home Depot parking lot. Now this is where you're going to, you know, I'm sure it's going to figure out a parking spot. So it looks like it's going to make a left here. Now, ideally, what I'd like it to do is just find a spot from here. Uh, so it's already not going where it was intending to go. So it would have went down that lane. Uh, so we're going to keep driving, see what it's going to do. So it's readjusted the map. It's going to go down this lane. So it should just pick one of these spots, but I have a feeling it's going to go to the front of the store and then loop around and figure it, find a spot from there. Uh, so this little part really isn't needed. Like it could have just easily have parked at one of those spots. And generally what I do is when I'm just driving day to day, I will just, you know, take over that lane and therefore it's not hurting my stats because it really didn't go any further distance. I'm just turning over parking. So a few pedestrians, it's, it's going to make a turn. The one benefit from this side, this is the exit. So when I come out of the store, the car will be closer. And we're going to make park. I think we're going to go we're reversing. This is what we're doing. I'd like to know the logic between reversing and going forward because sometimes it goes reverse, sometimes it goes forward. We don't know. We don't know why. It definitely does a better job at going in reverse. So we are definitely on the hugging the left line. Uh, so, like I said, it does a much better job parking when you're actually just using the actual auto park feature as opposed to when FSD is doing it. For some reason, it doesn't go in between the lines. So this is the, the funny way. So the, our exit's over there. Or to, yeah, so it's going to go all the way over here to the back and hopefully pick it out. So yeah, so it's good, doing a good job. Okay, good. Because I've been here before and it's not figured this part out. All right, good, good, good. As you can see, uh, you know, it did pretty good today. 
even a giant snow pile, it, you know, went around it, thought on the fly, which was great to see. And, you know, didn't get lost or stuck. So that's great. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know it's videos. We'll catch you the next time. Drive safe and drive electric.